All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, this video is just going to be a quick walkthrough on how to get started with Azure Artifacts. I showed you Azure Artifacts in the build demo on how we are able to build and push securely uh, Maven Artifacts over into Azure Artifacts and use it as a central Maven repository. So to do that, it's really simple. We're just going to go create a new feed. We'll start from scratch. We'll call this Java. You can leave these settings as default because you can change them at any time. So we'll leave it open for anyone in your organization. This means at the top level. So any project can also still access this artifact repository. And then same thing for packages. We're going to use packages from public sources through this feed. So I'll go ahead and hit create. Uh, and because I had just done this demo and I forgot to turn my screen sharing on or screen recording, this says Java. So we'll do Java 1 and we'll hit create. And that lets us create it. Wonderful. So now we'll go through and hit connect to feed. And from there, you can choose the type of repository it is. We're going to select Maven. The first thing we need is our credentials. And this is the secure file that I used in the demo, which I'm ultimately going to put these credentials in my settings XML. So I already used this little button to copy it to the clipboard. I'm going to go over to Visual Studio Code, and I have a blank settings XML file. And in my servers block, I'm just going to paste that server code that I copy and pasted. So we'll make sure all the indents and everything are aligned. So we'll go ahead and hit save. This looks good. Now the next thing we have to do if we keep scrolling down with the instructions is we have to add the repository information to both the repositories and distribution tags in our POM file. So we'll copy this code. I'm going to go over here. We're going to open the POM file. And we can really kind of put it anywhere. I'll put it right here under name and description. We'll drop this down. We'll put repository. Repos. It's hard to type. OK. And now we'll go ahead and indent. Make sure all of this aligns. I have to back that out. Perfect. So that looks good. And now we'll do the same thing for our distribution management. I'm going to copy this again just so I get the casing correct, since I mentioned typing is hard. So we'll do that. Paste this down. Now I'm going to copy this code one more time. Indent. And this time around, well, we'll just fix the indents and then back this out one. Save. So really all I did was I added distribution management block to my POM file. And same thing for repositories right here. And then I essentially added a server into my settings XML. All right. So we don't have charts files. I don't have a Docker file. We'll go ahead and do draft create. And then we'll go to our Docker file. We have to make the changes just as we did in the build demo. So we'll go ahead and update the Alpine base image. I know I need to add in the settings line so that this way it copies this new settings file over into our container in our build stage. And then I also need to update the ports. OK, and then I also need to remove the dependency section. The final thing I need to do is go into charts, remember, and we have to update the values. We know our application serves on 8080, and we know that we need to update our resource requests and limits. So I'll change this to 256, and we'll change 128 to 512. OK, so that looks good. Just to recap, we really only updated our internal port and our resource requests and limits for our Helm deployment. A bulk of what we did for Azure Artifacts is in our Docker file, specifically on line four, because now our settings file is going to work on it, and our POM file, where we're using repositories of where to get the packages. And if we want to be able to push, we also needed to add the distribution management tag. So now all we do is run draft up. That's that second command that's going to build and push our Docker image. And if we want to see what it's doing, we can actually copy this particular uh, identifier and do draft logs and put the identifier in. And we can actually see live right now, we'll make this a little bit bigger, that this is downloading from our new Java 1 repository. So when I switch back over to Google Chrome, we'll close out of this, we should refresh. Now we start seeing just now all of these artifacts are coming in and it's being handled as part of draft and Docker because we're doing it within our Docker container. And then remember, because of multi-stage builds, 
what we ultimately produce from using those artifacts to build our jar is getting copied over into the second stage. So our settings file won't be compromised in any way, shape or form. So we don't have to worry about um, preserving the security or the authentication of this authorization key, the auth token, because it's being scrapped in this as an intermediate stage. So it's not a build layer, it's just an intermediate build container and the final output is from our second stage. So there you have it. That's uh, how you use Azure artifacts inside a Docker container securely.